Welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and it's time for episode number 52 of our Pokemon Pearl playthrough here on the channel. Finishing up, uh, or picking up where we left off when we finished up a few hours ago today on the channel, here in the Galactic HQ in Veilstone City. See if we can finally rescue the Lake Guardians that have been captured and kidnapped and taken against their will by Team Galactic for whatever their nefarious purposes are. Something about creating a new world for Team Galactic or something. I don't know if I like that. We're going to see what we can do to stop that. And, of course, let's start things off with, wait a minute, starting the timer. There we go. And, checking out our Pokemon, we got to do some, excuse me, hiccup. up. we got to do some healing, first of all. Soul took some damage. In fact, everyone took some hits. So you can see here we have our level 39, Weavile, leading the way. Soul, we have level 40, Egbert, our Togetic, and I'll show you the movesets in a little bit here. Shelly, our level 39, Blissey is up next. Our level 40, Arbok, is next in line. Gary, the level 4 Gyarados, is right down below. And Keaton, our level 41, Heracross, is here. Let's fire off some Citrus Berries. Do you guys even need to see the attacks? You know what? I might just skip that. For a little bit of a change of pace, I'm not going to do a full team recap. You see them all here. If you want to see the recap, you can check out the earlier episode today. Basically, nothing much has changed, moveset-wise and all that. So, we're just going to continue on and act like nothing ever happened. Except it did. Alright, wait, no running in the halls. Let's be polite. Let's use... Uh, I keep forgetting. We can't swipe the card through the card swipe slot. we got to actually use it on the doors. Now, what is this? This is weird. There's an item, though. I got frustration. I'm not a fan of frustration, because uh, I don't usually uh, treat my Pokemon bad. Alright, so now, where do we go? Because in the last episode, I thought the other way that I went was a dead end. They did say something about you would have to figure out how to uh, work the warp panels. So, let's try this here. I went this way before. See, I want to go to the TV room. Talk to this guy. Did I go down here? Yes, I did. This is where I get the galactic key. Huh. Let me just see where this takes me then. Oh, wait. I know what to do. Hang on. Right. I have the key now. I can get in the, uh, the doors on the main section outside here. So we're done in the storage area. Now we're going to head back above ground and head into the headquarters itself. Now I know what we're doing. Okay. Let's hop on the old bicycle. So we can't ride a Tauros around in this part of the uh, region, right? Oh, uh, Pokemon, Sun and Moon, you've spoiled me all too much. Wait, this is the wrong way. This is like the back exit. Let's pop in here, now that we have our galactic key to bust in. Well, we're just going to walk right on past you. You can't stop us. Is there anything over here? Nope. Only one way to go. That's straight ahead. Let us in, please. In fact, I could have gone to the Pokemon Center while I was out there. Whoops. Oh, well. I have Pokemon Center with me. I've got Blissey. I've got Lepa Berries. I've got Lumberries. I've got a... I wanted a double battle, you jerk. Having fun scampering around our HQ, you sneaky intruder. Your, your trailblazing will go out in a blaze of glory right now. You're lucky I don't have my Charizard. These are the Megas, of course. But the Megas don't exist yet. But you're lucky I don't have our Charizard Blaze with us. Gorbat. What do you plan to do? You're gonna try to leech life our dark type? I mean, you could try. The thing is, it has no power yet. It's not till Gen 7 that it actually goes up in power. How much does a fan attack do? And do not confuse Rayman. That's acceptable. We'll handle that. So, what else is there to talk about? Well, as I keep kind of showing off back here, I got the old Infinity War. Collector's Cup, we're going to go see the movie, of course. Again, no spoilers, but leading up to before I saw the movie, I uh, wanted to wait and, you know, not see any spoilers beforehand. Of course, I don't, you don't, you don't want to go in being spoiled. That's why I'm not going to say any spoilers here. But now that I've seen the movie, I can finally go online and read all these fan theories and basically things I was talking about, what they expected to happen in the movie, whether or not they did, and what they're thinking is going to happen afterwards. And there's some pretty interesting theories. People are uh, pretty creative with the, uh, the subtle little nuances that they've picked up on in the movies and like all the other movies leading up to Infinity War. So it's going to be cool to see 
what happens next, because I believe the next Avengers movie, Avengers 4, is coming out in just one year, they said, in uh, 2019. Level 40 for our Weavile, not bad. The trailblazing streak lives on, yep, I got a message. All right, that's one down. So what, you have momentum, it's too late, the experiment's done. That don't sound good. Let's get Sol switched over into our level 39, Shelly, and she's gonna go ahead and, whoops, she's gonna go for a soft boil to heal Sol up in case he needs to come back in. Okay, so, what does this trainer have over here? But to find out. Huh, <sighs> bear with me, it is late at night, it's actually 1.20 in the morning. The things I do for these videos. Yeah, you should be tired out by now, it's Team Galactic's turn to shine. Galaxies don't shine. Well, the stars within them do, I guess, but... You're challenged by Galactic Grunt. You've got two. You start off with a gold bat. That's a Thunderbolt waiting to happen, if anything. I've got to sort through some of these cards, too. Look at all the stack of cards i got to give back. I've got... I've got Alolan Executor, which we pulled on our last live stream, plus a whole bunch of other cards. I did just recently pick up a new binder. Where is it? Right down here. To house all of these cards. Oh man, I'm confused. But... What I like to do when I collect my Pokemon cards is store them. Wait a minute. There's a code. Can't give you that code card here. But I organize them based on collector's number. I hit myself in confusion. So a lot of people who see my collection, they're like, why is there so many empty spaces? It's because I don't have the cards that fit into those numbered slots yet. I used to try to collect all cards from one set just to be able to say that I did it. Now it's like. I don't know. I like just to collect. I'm not even that much into the collecting anymore. Basically, the only packs that I open nowadays are the ones that I open for you guys to get the codes. So, I don't open a lot of packs unless there's, uh... I'll go for another Thunderbolt. Unless we do, like, uh... You know, the pre-release videos where I open up the uh, pre-release pack there. And there was that time Heroes Beacon invited me to open up an entire booster box so they would have some cards available for adding to their own singles binder. And that was pretty cool, seeing a whole, is it 36 packs, I believe, of the new set, Ultra Prism at the time, I believe it was. I should ask them again if they ever have plans to do another one of those uh, booster boxes. Would you guys like to see another booster box opening on the channel? That could be pretty cool to showcase. All right, we have a Silcoon in here. Thunderbolt, the way to go. They have... I mean, you know, I don't know what their special defense is like, but they don't have a way to boost that special defense. It's kind of cool that in... Is it Gen 5, I think? Gen 5 or Gen 6, they gave the Cocoon Pokemon the ability to learn Iron Defense. Or Iron Defense. Iron Defense. It's kind of cool that they have some sort of special feature like that. What? I don't get it. What's your rush? I gotta save the Guardians. The Guardians of the Galaxy or the Universe in this case? Pokemon are that important to you? Is that what this is all about? Oh, uh, yeah. Huh? So how are you doing there, Shell? Uh, you're still fine. We'll keep you up in the front. You also have that Citrus Berry for mid-battle healing. Is this the TV room? It is. Oh, you're a trainer? I just wanted to block your TV by mistake. I won't let you disrupt our research. This is for Team Galactic. Is it really, though? I don't know. Let's see if my Pokemon's been knocked out in Pokemon Go yet. Darius is in Kadabra. I think we can handle Kadabra. Let's see what the rock glide can do to you. Need be, of course, I can switch over into our good old Dark type. Wait a minute. This thing has Miracle Eye. That makes it so that Dark types can be hit by psychic moves. Interesting. However, Rock Climb does some good damage to you. A side beam, that is nothing to worry about. I don't see any special Pokemon to catch in the neighborhood. Come on, the fighting event is over. I miss. How is that fair? I'm gonna soft boil it. Ooh. So I'm gonna go for a copycat next. I wonder if. No, never mind. I wonder if I had copycatted instead, would they have let me copycat rock climb? It would actually have a copycatted disable. Alright, let's just go with a Thunderbolt. Your special offense is better than physical, but I don't think it's going to be enough to handle... Well, I mean, at that HP, it will. But let's see if the Thunderbolt can get the Paralysis. We do have Serene Grace. How does this work? Because I think it doubles the, the chance of the effect. And we're going to know now, because we get a critical Thunderbolt. Not too bad. She's all charged up and raring to go, this Blissey. 
All right, scientist Darius, how Darius you? I got whipped. I look pathetic. Yeah. On national YouTube as well. International YouTube, even. Our boss is a scientific genius. He'll make the power of mythical Pokemon his own. Good evening. Tune into this show and you'll always be on the cutting edge of fashion. You guessed it. It's the Trend Tracker Show. Why is... Why is he just watching TV? Let's go to our latest trending news story. Take it away. I'm bringing you this report from the second floor of Jubilee Life TV. I'm here to examine a recently added photo titled Important, which belongs to Chaz. I forget what this photo was. Oh, is this it here? Let's see. The title Important does sound fitting for this photo, but one can't help but think perhaps a better title could have been found. Everyone's a critic. Our critics everywhere. All controversy aside, it's certainly worth seeing. Please do visit. Maybe I will, and I'll see what was I thinking back in the day. So, where does this take us? Ooh, a healing bed. Check this out. Team Galactic Nap Room. Ensure the bed is unoccupied before getting into it. That kind of makes sense. We quickly fell asleep. Get a quick full heal. We are quickly going to get moving. Now, where does this uh, stairs take us? I'm going to go back. Check out the rest of this area first. And I think those stairs might be the way to go. Maybe not. I see two warp panels here. Let's go down here. Where is this leading us now? Team Galactic Credo. Okay. Okay. Another warp panel. Okay, so this is getting kind of complicated. Wait, this is the item that I just saw. Let's grab it. Max Revive. Don't use them. This is Nuzlocke-ian. Of course, if Pokemon faints, can't revive them. They're just knocked out, unable to battle. They don't die in my kind of playthroughs, but they will come back in future games. The Pokemon we lost along the way, seven Pokemon. Technically six, one of which was our uh, Sneasel back in the day, but he is back, as you can see. So what's the point of this room? There's got to be a hidden item. There is. Where is it? No, I think it's just showing us that there's a hit. It's over there? Oh, come on. All right. Maybe that's why this room was here, just to make us realize that something was there. Okay, let's head back to the nap room. And see where the stairs take us. Is it going to be that spot we just saw? No. Now, do we have an actual double battle this time? Can you guys not look away? Thank you. Let's get some double battle action going on here. Are you enjoying your unescorted, unauthorized, and unsettling tour of our Team Galactic HQ? Very much. Hey there, little trainer! You're famous among Team Galactic! The order has been issued. If we get we get a promotion if we put you down. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm in a hurry. Grunt and grunt. Five Pokemon total. We have a couple of poison types coming in. Do we have any ground moves? We do not. We got Shelly and Egbert coming in now. So, a brief yawn. Oh boy, I gotta get some sleep. We're gonna Thunderbolt the Stunky. Let's go for the nice, powerful Psychic into Kuroga. Double super effective. Can we get the Serene Grace boosted Paralysis off this Thunderbolt? That would be awesome. Why? Why do we not get any Serene Grace boost? It's crazy. That was a critical slash. I don't think Frogunk handles this. I feel bad for Brock in the anime. See, okay. I know the fact that Brock is always going all googly-eyed over the girls. Maybe cut kind of repetitive and kind of uh, a little bit on the silly side. But eventually they made it so that Misty would always grab him by the ear and pull him away. And look at this. Double the Stunky. Let us Sunderbolt. And we'll go with a water hiccup pulse. Oh, I have to try metronome again. I keep forgetting. So, eventually they made it so Misty starts pulling Brock away. And then they made it so Max, from the uh, third generation, was pulling Brock away. And then in Gen 4, Krogunk would always poison jab him and paralyze him. Or was it Force Palm? I can't remember. It would do something to him. And therefore, Brock could no longer continue, you know, fawning over the girls. My problem with that, though, it... To me, it was funnier when Brock would simply strike down, you know, strike out on his own. Because, like, having the other characters interrupt Brock's flirting with the girls and drag him away, it makes you think, would he eventually have been successful in flirting with one of these girls if they didn't do it? 
I don't know, it just doesn't seem like he should be successful, and he should actually have a chance to fail just on his own merits. So we're actually going to try a Thunder... Or no, we'll throw a Thunderbolt there. We're going to try a Metronome. Can we get Psycho Boost? Can we get Aeroblast? Can we get... What's another decent... Let's get Luster Purge. Come on, Egbert, you got this. Let's see what we get. We get Double Hit. And stab. And Hustle Ability. Not too bad. Critical. The second one hit harder. Lamb me out. That's gonna flinch me. All right, let's go with a another. Actually, you know what? Let's try Coffee Cat. Let's see what we can have some fun with that. We're gonna metronome. This is the episode of just having. Oh, quick clock. Yes. This is the episode of just being all goofy crazy. We got ourselves Bone Meringue. Super effective. Can we get copy? Can we copycat the Bone Meringue? That'll be awesome. Come on. Let Shelly go first. Lamb me out. You're slow. You're actually probably not. But please be so. Yes! Okay, no. What? That's not fair. Maybe you can't copycat a metronome move then. Maybe that's just too much randomness for the game to handle. Alright then, let's go with Thunderbolt. Let's go with metronome. Another Quick Claw boost. Yes! Let's get uh, Rock Wrecker. Pedal Dance. I like the sound of it though. It's a oh, almost one-hit wonder with the next Thunderbolt. To follow up and drop that Q-tip tail looking kitty cat. I never realized that Perugly, we've seen it already in the playthrough, is actually supposed to be all super bulky because it, it looks like it's got a big, you know, chest and a big, you know, butt basically. But it's because it wraps its tail around itself to make itself look bigger. Let me do what I want. I just blew my promotion. Yeah, you kind of did. No, actually, I did. What's so special about you anyway? You're just like any other little kid trainer that you can find anywhere. Not really. It doesn't matter what happens to the Team Galactic HQ building. What do you think I'm gonna blow it up? Soon, all will belong to Team Galactic anyway. I ain't gonna blow up no building. So let's go ahead and soft boil. When did Shelly get back to full HP? I know I soft boiled at one point. Does she really wanna take any hits ever since then? I mean, cool. Oh boy. Let's take the first one. Just don't send me to the green tile, that would be really annoying. Now, wait a minute. No, this isn't the spot. I thought this might have been where we saw that there was a hidden item before. Okay, let's try door number three. This looks like it's a good spot, but I'm gonna take this one here. Now, watch this take me to that green panel. No, I know one of them's going to eventually, though. We've got elixir, which is nice, although I don't need it with all my lepa berries, but it's a free item, I'll take it. And any hidden items here? Oh, rare candy! Nice. I don't usually use those, but I can sell that for sure. And let us take that middle tile once again. Oh no, the third tile. And see what's up this staircase. And one second. I want to get my Pokemon back up invisible. So it looks like the only place left to go is right up here. Is that Saturn? That looks like it might be, uh, Saturn. It's actually the boss. I see. You must be the trainer I've been hearing about. The foolhardy one that's trying to stand up to Team Galactic. Although I'd hardly expected to see that the trainer is a mere child. I'd heard that our commanders had a rough time with you. I know why you're here. I can sense it in you. It's about Yuxi, Mesper, and Azel, correct? You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. I am finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, Go right ahead, I could care less. Nice. It will save me the trouble of disposing of them. Also nice, sarcasmic speaking. But I must say, you are quite a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they not? But still, you came to rescue them out of pity? Not really pity. Stop you. And such pitifully useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and lacking human heart. You are compelled to come here by such vacuous sentimentality. I will make you regret paying heed to your heart. I want to listen to this guy's music. I don't remember it. Alright, Galactic Boss Cyrus. You've only got three Pokemon. Minecraft! Hmm. What level? 40. I ain't worried. 
we're pretty much on par with this guy, actually. So let's start off with a Thunderbolt. Ooh, you're quicker and a drill pecker, too. But I think that's gonna hurt. And that was not a critical hit, folks. Wowzers. Huh. All right, can we get the paralysis off Thunderbolt? Come on, if any time for Serene Grace to boost or to kick in is now, well, now is the time. But if there's any time for it to do it, now is the time. I could just critical hit it, though. That wasn't no Serene Grace, that was just Serene Luck. But I'll take it. All right, level up. Yes, it is. Level 41. That's not his ace, though, of course. Next Pokemon is Golbat at level... Only 40. Okay. This one, we can also Thunderbolt. You know, Air Cutter, that is a special move. Why would you waste time with a special-based attack? Look at that. 16 damage. That wasn't even 10% of what we just had. Let's get that Serene Grace boost. Come on. Paralyze this. I'm not complaining. I will take critical hits. Until the cows come home. We don't have cows in the Pokemon world. Until the mill tank come home. The last one in is a... Really? That's your best? I've got a Heracross with your name on it. My last Pokemon. Now this thing actually could be physically scary against our... So let's switch into... What do you think? Weavile versus Sneasel. Let's do it. We got Rock Smash. Let's show you the true power of the Dark Ice type. Look how the blues are slightly different too, the color. Ice Punch. I want Ice Punch. I that's decent damage, but can you handle a Rock Smash attack? I know you are three levels above. This is double super effective. Our attack set is in the hundreds now. Your defense. Ooh. Do you actually have Focus Ash? No. You just simply survived that. That was lucky. You're going to Ice Punch again. Are you trying to freeze me? You ain't doing that. Just don't full restore, would you? I see. I may lose if this pace continues. Ah. Uh, he didn't full restore. Super Potion. That's an octave. So long, Cyrus. I won't catch you next time. You ain't one of my viewers. You haven't subscribed to the channel yet. You may be a Prism Star card of Pokemon TCG, but that don't mean nothing against Sol, our Weavile. Galactic Boss Cyrus is done. Interesting. And quite curious. Thank you. I guess. I see. You are indeed strong. And the basis of your power is your compassion toward Pokemon. That's why I don't want to use the Frustration TM. How wasteful. Such emotions are about mere illusions. And like all illusions, they fade over time until death banishes them forever. That is why I have abandoned all emotions as useless sentimentality. But that doesn't matter. I doubt you will ever understand my position. That said, I recognize that you are strong and courageous to come alone. I didn't come alone. I have my Pokemon with me. Right? This is your reward. He just hands a Master Ball? The Master Ball is the ultimate Pokeball. It will unfailingly catch any Pokemon in the wild, but it is not anything that I require. Unlike you trainers, I do not make Pokemon my friends or partners. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use Pokemon as tools. Can you guys scroll back at the video about uh, three or four minutes there? Can you show me what he actually did? He just used Pokemon against me. Hypocrite. Instead, I make the power of Pokemon my own. If you wish to save the Pokemon from the lake, please start. Lakes, take the warp panel ahead. I am off to Mount Coronet. That's correct, Mount Coronet. I didn't ask where you and I first met. I will ascend the mountain to its peak and put an end to everything. No, I will bring about a new beginning for everything. This guy uh, is one uh, cornflake away from losing his uh, mind. I don't even know if that makes sense. I've already lost my mind. But let's continue on and save the Lake Guardians. I cooperated with Team Galactic, but this experiment has gone too far. What is this? Something suspended in a green fluid. What are these things? Are these... Are these Zygarde cells? No, it can't be. What is that? What is any of this? I don't want to run. I like the look of this. Something suspended. 
can't say anything in our defense. But that thing we made, what is it going to be used for? I don't know why they sound like robots. Yuxi! Yuxi sealed inside, appears to be suffering with eyes squeezed shut. No! Mesprit! Same! A tail is twitching! No! Azov! What's with your ears? Oh, racking shutters. I thought the ears would do something. Saturn! Would you let them. Wait a minute. Now, as I was saying, Saturn, would you let them go? You, you came all the way just here. What? No, save some Pokemon. Though it's nothing new, I can't say I understand our boss. Why would he let a kid like you come and go freely? We, Team Galactic, take all that we need and eliminate what we do not. But anyway, you've taken the trouble to come. Let me welcome you. Consider a payback for your insulting me at the lake. Hey, it's not my fault you chose hair like that, okay? That's the insult that we all have to bear. Commander Saturn, what do you got? You got a Kadabra. I'm not leading with my dark type. That probably should have been. You're only level 38, though. Am I worried? Not super particularly. Let's rock climb away. You got a Shockwave. Is that a natural move for you guys? I don't believe it is. It's a pretty foolish move, though. Look at this. What was that? 13 HP damage. Really? Come on. Give us the Serene Grace boost. I want to confuse this thing. It's gonna disable me. We're gonna copycat that. Check this out. No, he's not. We're gonna copycat a sh uh, shockwave. I almost said shock boiled. What if you could combine moves? You know how they're doing fusion with Pokemon, like you know, Curum and uh, say uh, Zekrom and Reshiram. They confuse. Of course, Solgaleo, Lunala, and the Crows would confuse. What if they made us to confuse two moves together? You could get shock boiled. An electric type healing move. I guess that isn't really anything. Oh, look at the critical hits from our little egg. That's just Thunderbolt. Okay, timer is pretty much going to be up. Don't oh, recover. Bad Kadabra. Bad rough is what you are. Again, fusing two things together. Give us the boost of Serene Grace, please. Hey, Psychic. This might do a little bit more, but I'm still not scared. Not scared at all. That was 27. That was 33 points of damage. That's a little over 10% of our full HP. Still nothing to worry about. That's one down. Two to go. Toxic Croak. That's a fighting type. I'm not making the same mistake we made when we lost our poor little Clefairy. Hmm. Fighting and poison. So Arbok will resist both. We'll plus get the Intimidate off as well. Now, these things can have dry skin. I didn't see this one say that it shuddered, though, but we didn't have anything super effective against it. That's so when they have the Anticipation ability, if you have a move that's super effective against the Pokemon, they shudder. Just to give you a warning that, yeah, there's something coming your way. But I didn't see that. Doesn't mean they don't have it. I'm going to try the Fire Fang anyway. Oh, Arbok, you got this. You don't got this. You're intimidated. What are you expecting to do with that brick break? Thought so. Alright, come on. Break out of confusion. You got this. You got the plus two attack stat. Fire Fang. Amazing power. Especially if it's dry skin. You know what's really painful? A dry skin. It's not dry skin. But a dry skin parasect. That's kind of painful. You know what would be really crazy? I remember my nephew was telling me that... Uh, I'm going to try Fisher. That, apparently, they can do a thing where if you have, what is it? A Scizor. Any, any Bug Steel type, like, say, uh, Foratress as well. If you hit that Pokemon with the, is it Trick or Treat? No, Forest Curse attack, it turns it into a... It adds Grass type to the Pokemon. So you have a Bug Steel and Grass type. That is now... What would you call it? Triple weak to fire, so it's like... 
instead of times two damage, instead of times four, it's times eight damage. If you could then also use something like role play or entrainment or something and give it dry skin, that would be times 16 damage from fire moves. Doesn't that sound crazy? I think I'm correct when I'm putting all those numbers together. A dry skin, forest cursed, bug steel type. I really like the moves later on that change typings like that. Like any Pokemon you can turn into a water type by using the soak attack. Level 41 Arbok. No new attack, though, that's okay. But yeah, you can turn anything into a water type. You can turn all normal moves into electric if you use the. What is that? What's that attack called? I think something like Ion Deluge or something like that? That might not even be an attack. I might have just made something up off the spot. But anyway, you get Shadow Ball? That's gonna do nothing to me. It's kinda cool that you get that. But yeah, so many cool ways. You can make, you can make anything a Ludicolo. Give it the Soak Attack, hit it with the Forest Curse. You actually make it a, uh, what is it, Jellicent. Like, you know, hit it with Soak, give it the Trick or Treat. Add Ghost Type into it. It's kinda crazy. You're tough, kid, but I still pity the likes of you. What's with all the pity talk? It's not very nice. Ah, what makes you so tough? Fine, do whatever you want with those three Pokemon. Press the button on that machine to set them free. Darn right I will. Yep, push that button. Run, guys. Free yourselves. Go back to guard the lakes. Our boss crafted a red chain from crystals he took from the three Pokemon. That red chain is what he needed to shackle something on Mount Coronet. But that's all I know. Who knows what he's planning to do up there. And he has powers of teleportation. Button has been pressed already. You have to leave. I don't gotta do anything. I'm actually gonna save it right here. Because we are done with the episode today, folks. So hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for watching, of course. If you did enjoy it, feel free to drop a like down below. And feel free to share this with any of your friends. I might want to check out some retro playthroughs of Pokemon. You can also share the entire playlist that's linked down in the description as well. And if you want to see some more videos I've done, check the links during the outro. Or, of course, you can subscribe for some more daily Pokemon content from Professor Chaz, such as Pokemon TCG Online featuring some of the new Forbidden Light cards. We have Pokemon Go videos on occasion, currently on pause until another big event happens in the game. And we've also got... Uh, usually live streams of Pokemon uh, you know, TCG Online, Pokemon Ultra Sun Wi-Fi Battling, and Wormhole Wonder Trade Days as well. So, you know, subscribe and stay tuned for all this Pokemon content coming up from Professor Chaz in the future. With all that, I am now signing off. Thank you once again for watching as always, and I'll catch you next time.